Okay, guys, uh, my name is Ayan, and um, I did the 23andMe Ancestry um, a while back, uh, 2015. Um, I got my results quite a while, you know, while back. It took about three weeks, I believe, four, four weeks for me. And um, I just wanted to update you on this. Let's see. Not a lot of Somali people are doing this. I My background is I'm Somali. My ethnicity, um, I live in the United States. But I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, as I said, not a lot of us are doing it. Um, so here, here it says my ancestry composition that I'm 96.6 East African as you can see. My haplogroup, this also tells you, is uh, my maternal is um, L081A. Um, okay, let me click on this one. All right. Let's scroll down. It looks like I'm from almost most of the maps like colored. Like I'm from mostly every place you can imagine. Um, okay, so 100% um, says here 96.8 um, Sub-Saharan African and that of the Sub-Saharan East African is 96.6 and then um, Broadly, Sub-Saharan African is 0.2%. Um, Middle Eastern and North African, here I have um, 1.8. And North African is majority of it, 1.8. And broadly, Middle Eastern and North African is less than 0.1. Here, European, I have it anyways. And it's 0.4% um, and broadly European. It doesn't say where it could be the like i have no idea here all right so let's go to south asia it's 0.2 percent broadly south asian but it actually says some areas india pakistan afghanistan you know malaysia stuff like that and then um this is surprising east asia and native american as a somali person we have no contact whatsoever with native american you know what i mean so I don't know where this thing, it could be coming from. It could be, I don't know, thousands of years ago. Um, and it's anyways, less than 0.1%, uh, which is pretty much nothing. But anyways, there we go. And then um, unassigned, I have 0 0.8. So what I notice is that we, I'm under summary. Let's go to um, scientific details. If you click on that one um, here, Let's go down so you have a little um, thing that could tell you like it defaults to like 50% um, certainty of the assigned like how you know let's say if you say 50% um, they are sure of your DNA which is 100% they're sure of like only 50% let's say make sh they look into it and make it like 90% for sure like how this is what they're positive of like 90% and they say that um, sub-saharan African is only 48.9 it went from like 90 what was it like 96 point um, 6 to like 48.9 that I'm sub-saharan now so pretty much I'm African only 48.9 that's what they're saying don't know what that means East African most of it I'm East African um, so I have no uh, Western African over here. It seems like 47.5 pretty much. And then Middle Eastern, that just went down way down. And it's 0 0.1. Uh, Middle Eastern or North African, pretty much nothing. And then um, mostly North African is 0 0.1. And then I have unassigned. Sorry, I'm just shaking the my... I'm recording it in an awful, awful um, computer. It doesn't help you guys can see it. Unassigned 51.0, so pretty much 51. They have no idea. European disappeared, Native American disappeared, South Asian disappeared, everything disappeared except Sub Saharan African and East African. Majority of it 47.5, Middle Eastern really low, but it's still there. 
the rest went away. They are 90% positive um, that I am 48.9 African, Sub-Saharan African. The rest, they have no idea. 51. <laughs> so, so either some of our people as African or East Africans are not taking this test or some groups are missing some tribal groups i have no idea why i have zero or my dna is completely from um like an alien dna but they have no idea what this is so i'm thinking we're ancient we have an ancient dna man somalis possibly this is something they're up to something <laughs> anyways that's pretty much it that's all i have um Thank you very much. Um, subscribe and like um, so I can bring more videos like this if you like it. Um, there we go. Bye, guys.